Here's part two of our conversation with bassist and vocalist Shem Von Trek on Rock History Music. Eddie asked, what was it like working with Don Felder? It was great. Um, the, the, the best thing about playing with Don was um, I, I got to play with some of my best friends, people I'd been friends with prior to working with him, the drummer Steve DeSantislaw and I, who have the apex together, uh, Timothy Drury, the keyboard player, longtime friend, uh, Greg Saran on guitar. These guys are my pals. So it was just a, it was just a big, great buddy hang for 12 years. And that, that, was, that was the best part of that. You know, playing Eagle songs. You know, we, people used to people used to tease us and say, "Oh, you know, it's just with Don, it's just the Eagles playing an Eagle playing Eagle song." You're in a sophisticated Eagles cover band. I'm like, well, no, <laughs> you're on stage playing with the guy who wrote Hotel California. He's playing the solo on the double neck every night right next to you. It's a big deal. Yeah. I've got Doug asking. Tell us about your <laughs> opera experience. Oh. Well, as I mentioned, opera was like the first music I ever heard. It's probably my favorite music, um, especially the heavy German stuff. I really like that. Um, I got an itch to sing it in the early 2000s, and I went and found a really good uh, arts program at a college in L.A. Uh, studied with this really great teacher uh, who encouraged me to continue. Uh, next thing I knew, I was in Europe singing... Uh, singing on a German opera stage and I can't say enough great things about it. it you know making good money from being a musician is, is a rare thing you know to not be a starving musician to be a working musician is a privilege but there's also a reward in the the, the 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 art and I would say there's nothing more rewarding than being in that symphony culture and that operatic culture and belting it out into the hall with a with an orchestra in the pit and and singing there's there's nothing they can replace that. That's pretty cool. That they, they have, to have that other side of who you are, which is rare. Every musician that I'm always surprised, and not as anymore, when I talk to a musician, they'll mention they do this, and they also do this, and they also do that, because they're hardwired to, like, always, what happens if I press this? But opera, that's that's one I don't get a lot. Yeah, it's it, it requires... I say it requires eight days a week, 25 hours a day, which doesn't exist. But it, it, you, you have to continue to study all the diction rules because you're singing in four to five different languages. Yeah. You, have to perform, you have to act. You have to be an actor. You have to stay up on the text. You have to stay up on, on the music. And it's, just a, it's, it's studying all the time. You can go sing an opera and, and, you know, really be prepared, go and do a great job, be very successful in, in that role. But like two years later, you got to re review the role because you're asked to do it again. It's, it's, it's a very, requires incredible, incredible discipline and discipline in taking care of yourself uh, physically. Uh, the, the physical demands necessitate you taking care of yourself. I have someone saying, today I turned 61. Where do you see yourself in six years musically? Um, writing film scores, yeah. continuing to, to, you know, score for whatever, whatever film or situation, uh, comes my way, be it, be it TV, you know, um, I, I, I would love to, to just keep being challenged by that medium. Someone just chimed in. I can't believe you sing opera. You are an interesting cat. Well, you know, my dad always said to just try to be able to don't be a one trick pony, be as musically diverse as you can. It's good. Some, some, it's going to serve you better in every situation that you're in, you know, um, cause you'll, you'll, you'll take the knowledge from one situation and apply it to another and, and have just different, it's like, it's like carrying around a toolbox with a, with a really good set of tools that you can use to, to construct the best situation musically or add to someone else's situation best way possible. And I've just, I, I'm interested in a lot of things. I still, you know, the, the, the day I don't want to, the day I can't learn anything anymore is the day I don't want to live anymore. You know, uh, Randy Backman had told me, I, I forget who, uh, I think Lenny Bro told him you, You'll never be the best guitarist in the world. So you, you know what? You're good. Great. You're a great guitarist. You're going to be an amazing guitarist. And he was, but he said, 
write songs because you need more things in your tickle trunk. You need become a songwriter. So you, you have that. And there's two things and you can sing and there's three things. And that made a lot of sense. Yeah. I don't believe you master anything. Yeah. I just, I, I think you just, you, you just keep striving to better yourself. And just when you think you've, you've learned it all, there's something else to learn. Yeah. How do people get a hold of you? Someone's watching, for instance. I'm kind of curious. How do they contact you to do a film school? I, I have a pr pretty pretty solid social media presence, yeah. which you, you've helped to promote. Uh, they can get a hold of me, direct message to any of any of those. Uh, my website is shemworks.com, all one word. Uh, there's email there, um, so, and there's you know, so I'm I'm pretty easy to reach for business. Yeah, I remember, I, I'm not sure who you were, to, uh, I think you were with, when I first got a hold of you, I remember thinking, you got back to me and you wrote me this light, nice, light, light, I'm going, what a nice guy, I can't wait to interview him, because <laughs> it's usually like three weeks you, you're waiting. Uh, no, I'm pretty, I'm pretty approachable, and uh, if it's, yeah, I'm, I'm open. <laughs> Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.